All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we'll start this one with a breakdown. So it's now 10 o'clock at night, I am on call. We do have a, a rail head. We have our own rail head. And um, we have a problem with the Senneborgen 840 clamp. Uh, there's the rail that we're just passing it now. And uh, I've no idea what's wrong with it. The driver's just saying it's not closing properly. He thinks it's major. Uh, so I've told him to bang some excavators on the, the train. Try and get some carriages unloaded if we can't get it fixed. But we'll try and get it fixed right now. Um, but yeah, so there's about 18 carriages, I think. So probably, uh, I don't know, 2,000 ton or something. Around that figure. Stone. I think it's 20 mil. 20 mil that's on tonight um, but yeah we've got the <laughs> I've had to drag the director out and he's already just done a 15 hour shift so he was editing um, so we'll uh, we're nearly there so let's take a look in a minute so we're just coming up to our railhead now I hope the train's well in. Oh, hang on a minute, we might have to drive around the other side. Yeah, we will. We will. We ain't gonna get over here. We'll have to go through the other entrance. As the carriages are in, can you see? There is a, an entrance and an exit. There's the train in now. So we'll just have to uh, drive around the site. Get round, get in the other way. Okay, this is uh, our plant yard entrance, and we're going now just getting onto the railhead. Plenty of diggers around, so if we need uh, to bang a few on these carriages, put it that way. There's the train. Director, we might have to chuck you on a digger tonight, boy. No? What's up with you? Look at all that stone there. Can you see the stone in the carriages above? Here is the Senebogen. Oh, we've got plenty of light, we've got plenty of light from the machine itself. Let's take a look. Just open. Oh, you're back oh, out, Keith. Yeah, yeah. Keith. So, it's not as bad as we thought. It's only a bush gone in the end of the ramp. I thought the eye, I thought the eye had come off the end of the ramp. Just open it up, close it. Yeah, if you see all the play, with all the play, we've got the gap in the bottom of the bucket. So, that means we're going to get quite a bit of spillage. Are we on 20 mil? Yeah, 20 mil tonight. At least we can crack on bad and use it, and then we can have a clean up tomorrow. Yeah, we'll have to bang a new bush in that tomorrow. On this side. That side's not as bad. I'm just wondering, I'm just wondering if I could... Uh, Pack it out. Yeah. Hey, Keith. Right, I might just whip that pin out and... Uh, just see if we can pack it out a bit. Right, so... As you could see then, the bush has gone in the end of that ramp, yeah? Uh, we'll have to do a bit, a bit of a bush fix tonight. So at the bottom of the bucket, when the bottom is closed, we've got about a 20 mil gap. Unfortunately, tonight we're unloading pipe bedding, really. 20 mil stone. Yeah, so 
we're going to get a serious amount of spillage. So I'm going to take that pin out and maybe just make just make a little bush. I mean, I use this for a pulley, yeah, as a pulley. That's 40 mil, a bit of 40 mil plate. But I could just make a temporary bush tonight, gas cut by hand, sit it in, and take a bit of that play out. But let's just take a look. I'm just straightening the slip pin out. Bit of an hammer. Try and turn that so get a good grip. Flipping out. Just got a punch. Up a touch, right? Just tell that ram, just tell that ram in a little bit. Oh, in fact, no, it's all right. It's all right. There's no weight on it. There's no weight on it. There's your bush. There's the bush. Now then, the problem is, yeah, is. Well, the end of that rod probably is damaged, but we need to uh, minimise the damage, if you will. So what I'm going to do, yeah, can you see how it's damaged it? So that will need boring. And a new paint, a new bush. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually make a temporary bush for tonight quickly we'll get that pin there so i need the od i need the od of this pin yeah so the od means the outside diameter so the size of the pin and i need the id at the end of that rod so that's the inside diameter and then what we'll do we'll make a little bush out of that little plate i've got in the back of the van that i don't really want to do but that's what we'll just have to do for tonight. Right, so we've got some mid-toy ore. Burn here, yeah. Yeah, so we get the inside of that. So 75 mil. And... 45 mil. And it's... 50 mil. Long, but it'd have to be a bit shorter than that, 75, 45. Right, so, I've just found a bit this 40 mil place, plate. This is what I use on a pulley, yeah? And uh, this socket that's 77 mil, really. So, I'm gonna draw around the socket and, and cut to the inside of the line, if you know what I'm saying. Water. 37. What I'll do, I'll tack this to the bucket. Yeah, I'll tack this plate to the bucket. So it'll give me uh, a good spot to cut with gas, you know what I mean? I'll see this in a set director. that really there so I need to know where I need to go now so I need to be on the inside of that line yeah and I need to cut that out there but all I need is that bit out of this yeah and then we'll bang that in the end of the ram and then that'll take all the play out of the bucket for tonight I'm going to tack this to the bucket now Right, so I'm actually just, just going to tack this to the bucket, yeah? So I can try and get a nice cut. Because that's the only bit that I need. I'll tack it to the bucket, get gas out. Oh, we'll try that new Aris torch that we just got. See what that's all about.
So all I want is attack on that. Now we've got our uh, quick connects. I'll go and get, I'll go and get the gun. So this is going to be the first use of the new Harris gun. Can you guys? Try it out, eh? Try it out. You've seen them before, right? No, no, only to use your one. Drop of them, aren't they, boy? Pull that, pull that. Get the fuck, there you go. Right, switch the bottles on. Feel smooth that, feel smooth. That's 
open that right. Now we're at the little bush. Start it up. Put pressure on the director. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and knock that in. Okay. I'm gonna fit in the rod. Round the side director. Right, we need to take uh, a ram in a little bit. Or lift it. Yeah. Try to open the bucket a bit, okay? Go around that side director, see if the pin come. Just try to open the bucket slowly. Open, whoa, 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 Now you're with that boy. 
cut that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> Right, where did I put that split pin? Right, oh, it's on here, top floor here. See you somewhere. See ya. Can't see them dotted on there. Right, Keith, can you, Keith, can you open and close the bucket? Yeah. You can shoot off in a minute, I just need to. Yeah, go on. Close. Look at that, that'll do for tonight, boy. Yeah. See, we're popping a bit of grease in it. I'm going to take Ram off and. Uh... He's the only one that greases it. No problem with it every day now. Is he? He's been fucking scrolling, doing it every day. So director, that's just a quick half hour fix. And that'll help the and the rain's just starting to come. So let's get wrapped up. Job done. Right, so that's a quick bush fix, making a bush, if you will. Um so now the train, well it's 2211. So that's just took 40 minutes, really. Uh, since probably an hour since the call out um, so yeah uh, I'm, I'm happy with that we'll take that ram off tomorrow we'll get it bored and get a new bush made for it I uh, just want to talk a little bit about this torch really and how smooth it is yeah so that's a Harris torch and with the quick connects on it now then I have just disconnected that and the, all the uh, the gas and air and oxygen is still in the pipes I thought they'd like shh, when you take them off but they don't so that's good and uh oh well, yeah that's a good start to a chronicle i'd say director let's get ourselves on all right guys so this was going to be the start of a chronicle but decided to just make it a midweek episode yeah but what you didn't see is what you're about to see now i got called out an hour again later uh, that night i just got home just got back in bed and then a pipe blew so as you can see now on the screen I've just pulled up at the job and there's a pipe blown and I've asked the driver just to uh, get in the machine just so I can see which pipe it actually is and as you can see there now it's all spewing out uh, and it was pretty easy to identify then at that point which pipe it was it was uh, one of the main pipes there's four pipes there it was one of the main pipes so anyway I got the uh, got the ladders out got the spanners out and as you can see in this next one here now the pipes off with a big hole in it um so what i did then John, i got on the phone to way, uh, they do have a 24 hour service uh but this particular night the boss answered the phone so john answered the phone at pertech preston and uh he said it'd be quicker baz if we could meet me at the depot rather than sending a fitter out to you so that is also cheaper for us so the next clip here you'll see is me at the depot um all these videos by the way are been filmed on before because of my Instagram stories that I do every day. I didn't pick the director up because he was he'd already done a long shift and he was in bed. So there's John making the pipe up for me. And I was just telling him there really to make me an extra couple of pipes the following day so we have spare pipes on the machine, yeah? In case this happens again in the night. Now then when trains are in at the night, uh, there was actually 20 carriages on that on that train that night. And each carriage you've got 100 tonnes. So there is, there is like, um, there's not there's not really a fine as such if you don't unload the carriages, but there is a big shortage of stone for us. Well, we've got a big order to go out, so there's 2,000 tonne on that train, uh, and we had a big, big order that week for uh, tonnage of 20 mil stone, yeah, so we needed about 6,000 tonne coming out that week, so it would have been a big issue if that wasn't unloaded that night. I mean, the, the last resort would have been to pull more drivers in and offload it with excavators, but with excavators, uh, you're at risk of pulling the carriages off the track. Now then, if you pull the carriages off a the track, then there's a big fine involved. 
you know. So we don't really like to use the excavators, but now and again we have to use excavators. We'll put 30 tonners on with a ditching bucket with greedy boards on the ditching bucket, yeah, to offload the carriages. So yeah, so there was a second call out and uh, this last little clip that you'll see is the, uh, the machine back running and back to work. And as you can see, as it's swinging round, we're not getting any spillages of 20 mil coming out of the bucket, yeah. So that bush repair did work for this load. The following morning, uh, I sent a couple of sweepers up to the rail head with sand and we've got some sand dropped off. We cleaned all that oil up and got it cleaned up and swept up nice. And then we took the ram back off. So I took the ram over to my little Indian farmer that I call him, Harvin at AJS Engineering over at uh, Horwich. And he, uh, he re-bored the end of the ram, the eye on the ram, made me a bigger bush to sit in it and then we put a new spherical bush in it and made me a new pin. As you can see, the ram in the back of my van there. So yeah, it was uh, it was just one of them nights when things happen. When the trains are, are running, I am on call and there's some other lads on call as well, depending on what breakdown it actually is. So yeah, that's an end to a little um, episode. So hope you like that one. Please, uh, please hit that like button because it does work. Honestly, it does work. And uh, check out my other episodes. Cheers.